Okay, so we're going to uh, thank you for the break, Commissioners. We're going to resume uh, the special commission meeting for tonight, November 24th. And uh, I want, uh, Mr. Attorney, uh, I want your 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 uh, guidance on on what's the proper procedure right now uh, to take uh, a, a course of actions against all this. And I want to to make clear that. If we would have taken action before, we wouldn't have this uh, budget cleanup problem that we have right now. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to protect the city. We don't want to impose a financial burden to the city, but we have no other options. So I want you to 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 tell us what is the the, the proper course of action. Mr. Chair, go ahead, Commissioner. If we're gonna do anything, that's gonna be uh, I forgot the word now. What it is to remedy? Is that the remedy? You mean you're seeking recourse for seeking recourse for this that we uh, seek some outside counsel that we hire somebody to do this or instruct the, the city attorney to get some outside counsel? Thank you, commissioners. This is very important because uh, among all the uh, arbitrary decisions that the mayor Lopez have taken. Our city attorney have been left without pay for I think the last three months, and I think that that is unfair. That is uh, selective uh, uh, selective. Uh, how do how can I use it legal? Mr. President, if I may, go ahead, sir. Uh, I, I want to be clear on this. Your options are as follows. I. I as, as the city attorney, something like a declaratory action, I can go ahead and, 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 and assist this commission. This commission is free, it's absolutely free to go ahead and, 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 and look for outside counsel. I, 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 I wanna make sure that you do know your, your options uh, and, 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 and it's entirely up to you. I will follow whatever directive uh, you provide me uh, and, and I'll leave it at that. Sir, uh, there is an ordinance that was uh, passed by former Commissioner Lopez that give uh, the authority to the city attorney to uh, seek for outside counsel that is uh, competent to, to the issues that we have to deal with. And uh, I think that at this point, uh, that's what you just stated, uh, you can go ahead and, and seek for the commission outside counsel that might assist the, the city on, on these issues. And they're, they're, I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Commission. One of the main reasons is because as it is right now, we're taxing him We're taxing him with so many things. No, that's... And there are so many charges, if you will, with all this budget he's stuff strong. and all the history of everything that's going on that he's not going to have enough time in the day to even contemplate doing this, you know. And that's why I want outside counsel. Mr. President, the, the, the ordinance that you're referring to, it, it basically deals with um, that, that the city attorney basically supervises uh, outside counsel and, 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 and seeks competent outside counsel you know, to serve the needs of the city, to serve the needs of this commission. Uh, if it's outside counsel that this commission would like to, would like to seek, um, <coughs> I can do so under that ordinance. Uh, again, I, I, I remind you of my earlier comments, but uh, but it is up to this commission to go ahead and and, and, and follow through as, as you see fit. Okay. Go ahead, thing. Commissioner. Can we make it a motion tonight as you know, a request that you seek outside counsel, that you remedy these four items or whatever the, the uh, resident, and then in that same motion, ask for a resolution to be drawn up. And if I don't know, whatever it, legally we have to do. With what you just have said, let me suggest the following motion to basically direct the city attorney uh, to seek outside uh, special litigation counsel. Um, and uh, as far as the scope of it, I, I, I will advise you to perhaps for, for the time being just Let's designate somebody as outside counsel, litigation counsel, and 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 at that point you will have the ability 
uh, either individually and at one or well, you have to have a resolution not only approving that individual approving the payment and then the funds necessary to pay that that individual or firm uh, but beyond that also providing some level of scope so I can have a resolution ready when this Commission directs me to have it ready so the motion essentially just seeking outside counsel and to bring not only that outside counsel but but the resolution basically allowing you to approve or disapprove um, whoever is brought here okay and can then we make this meeting I'm sorry go ahead yeah. um, <laughs> Mr. Mendes what part of the budget is going to be affected by the fees of the outside counsel uh, I am glad that you answered that question. Uh, respectfully, I'd like to distribute. This is our last cash on hand as of last Friday. And before you make that motion, uh, I, I, I felt that it was my duty to inform you right. as to where we are financially and in regards to our cash flow and our liabilities. Um, are you going to explain this a little bit, please? Yes. Wait, if I can. It's a okay. It, let's let's finalize this. If, if you don't mind, very He's quickly. Not answering because his question, whatever we have impact. No, very quickly. In our budget. Yeah. Very quickly. Um, if you look at all the way down, okay, where it says where it says total liabilities, and I'm not going to say any figures. You you can read them. I don't believe it's in the best interest of the city. We are not in a financial situation to hire a special counsel, not just yet, in my humble opinion. So that's what we have been waiting for the last five months to have a mayor that abides and fulfill the requirements of the charter of the city and the city honor right. ordinances and then to have directors that comply also with this law because this is the law of this city and we are just cutting check for people that are on budgeted we are cutting check for people that the commission have already by motion, by resolution, and now we have another other option that send it to court. So I, that next year, we won't have this problem, Ricardo. I understand, Mr. President, but it was my duty to inform you. And that we the, know. The, the optimum alternative There is no for money the for city. outside counsel, but there is we, money to we, burden the, the we, city financial we, uh, finance department with okay. uh, $750,000. Techni as technicians, okay, uh, I'm giving you the numbers. The optimum alternative, we hope and pray, is that the elected officials come to some kind of an agreement. Oh. And I as your mayor. Go. And I don't want to get into okay. the political stuff, but that's where we Mr. are. Go ahead, Commissioner Bergen. In the final adopted budget, we have $150,000 that we put in for just this reason, I guess. To answer it, Mr. Suarez. Mr. President? So, uh, I yeah. say, I, with all due respect, and I hear, I hear you. I don't find the one hundred and fifty thousand dollars here. No, no, no because no, this is their, their make off paper that they give you every time. They give you a paper every time. If you, you look at the final you and tell you that uh, well, apocalyptic you, financial situations are coming the to the city. No. If you look at how to start this debate, see, yeah. if, uh, if I'm straight from the city's one moment, financial please. statements and bank accounts. No. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Peguña. Go ahead, Bergen. In the final adopted budget for 2015 2016, I, I uh, don't know the exact line item. It's $150,000. I don't know if it's for outside contractor or outside legal, legal, legal counsel. Outside legal it's counsel. $150,000. <laughs> Budgeted in a line item. Yeah. I have uh, uh, some memory of that number of professional fees. Professional mm -hmm. legal fees. Legal exactly. Fees. Professional yeah. legal. Line item. Yeah. Professional legal yeah. fees outside counsel. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Thank Barreto. You. Mr. Mendez, I had a question. You show me the payables and other liabilities. What are the account receivables? Uh, I don't have no numbers for they, receivables. They are already here in the very first figure on the top that is titled cash on hand. They have already fact they they been to date the receivables have been factored in this in this figure right here. Okay. Okay, that's as November. That, is, that was as of last Friday. Chair. Go ahead, Commissioner Borghini. How much is the ad valorem and when does it get here? Uh, Commissioner, 
last year, I remember, because it was on my birthday, on November 28th, we got about $1.6 million. So we, well, because it hasn't come in yet. Oh, well, well, that's convenient. That coming. Right. Four days from now, we're going to have $1.5 no. million dollars to go to court. Well, well remember, remember, we look at the liabilities. We have a lot of bills to pay, Commissioner, and that's why I believe Including those on voyager positions. That, 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 that the best thing is to avoid having to hire a special counsel, a counsel because they cost a lot of money and we just don't have the resources. This is costing more money, a lot yes. of money. Mm -hmm. We'd have $750,000 more if you would have followed the law. Oh. So, Man. having said so and discussed uh, these issues, <coughs> Uh, President, may I have the floor, sir? Go ahead. I just have a quick question to ask. Uh, on the resolution that we're going to be doing tonight in reference to the action. The motion. The motion. Okay. The, the motion is basically from, from what I gather, and correct me if I'm wrong, it's basically directing me to, to, to seek um, outside competent counsel. outside litigation counsel. So that at that point, I you know can be brought before this commission via resolution for approval, or whether you may need somebody else. But at least you're directing me to bring you an answer. Okay, counsel. but it's not necessary at this point on the motion to mention all the violations that we're going to be seeking in court. Uh, the, 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 the scope, the, 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 the scope of, uh, of, of of the litigation, I. Uh, it may be premature. I think that at the time that uh, that when you have the resolution, uh, whatever the commission wants to <coughs> provide, provide and provide as a scope of services, that may be the appropriate time to incorporate that in the resolution. Okay, perfect. I just so want to make that clear based on all the items that we have, thinking you know that if we're going to be taking any action. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I make a motion to authorize the city attorney to seek for uh, outside uh, legal counsel uh, to the effect of taking the proper uh, course of actions uh, against Mayor Lopez for uh, violating the city charter, for violating the code of ordinances, and for violating the motion by motion by resolution, all the instructions from this governing board. Second. There is a second by uh, Commissioner Yanio. Uh, roll call, Madam Clerk. Commissioner Duasso. Yes. <coughs> Commissioner Barignan. Yes. Commissioner Barreto. Yes. Commissioner Yanio. Yes. Commissioner Suarez. Yes. President Diaz. Yes. So the resolution has passed unanimously, the motion to authorize the city attorney to seek uh, outside legal counsel to cure and look for remedies to the violations of Commissioner Lopez. Lo quiero decir en español, eh, la comisión en este momento ha hecho una moción autorizando al, uh, al abogado de la ciudad para que busque eh, consejo legal de una compañía o un abogado competente en esta situación para representar a la ciudad en contra del señor Orlando López por violar el, la constitución de la ciudad, violar las ordenanzas de la ciudad, violar las instrucciones de la comisión por moción y violar las instrucciones de esta comisión por resolución también. Estamos apenados de tener que tomar esta decisión porque sabemos que infringimos un cargo financiero a la ciudad, pero esto es una de las pruebas que nos ha hecho decidir esta esta, uh, esta esta moción. Que tenemos que aprobar un documento por requerimientos del Estatuto de la Florida que va a legitimizar lo que ha estado haciendo el alcalde López por todos estos meses. Y no estamos de acuerdo. Y no vamos a continuar aceptándolo. Vamos a felicitar a la gente por one more quick thing. Um, I don't know the time frame to seek outside counsel, to meet with them. Um, I want to get this done as fast yes. as possible. Agree. Do we, we 
Would it be advisable to maybe resume this meeting on a set date so we don't have to go through a whole... You wouldn't have to resume that meeting. You tell me when when you want a resolution and and I will have that ready for you. For, for December 7th? No, not Monday. Well, she has to advertise. So that's why I was talking about the, just resuming instead of... You wouldn't be able to add that item here. To this oh, meeting. you have to. Okay, you're right. It's a special right. item. Okay, then we just have to, as soon as you can then, and we'll call for a meeting, I guess. Okay. Uh, on on uh, one thing that we don't want to forget is to uh, congratulate all of you and uh, wish you a happy Thanksgiving Day. Enjoy with family, with friends, and be safe. And may God bless you all and bless our families and, and our all residents in the city of Sweetwater. Queremos felicitar, y creo que es el sentimiento de, de toda la comisión, felicitarlos por el día de, de acción de gracias, que puedan compartirlo de una manera segura, feliz con sus uh, familiares y amigos, y que Dios bendiga a esta ciudad y bendiga a todas las familias de esta linda ciudad. Amen. Muchísimas gracias. Yes, yes. I wish the, uh, lo mejor para toda la familia aquí de la ciudad de Sweetwater en el día de San Giving. Eh, disfrútenlo mucho. No coman mucho, por favor. <laughs> Commissioner. Siempre recordamos a la familia, a esta gran ciudad que yo tanto amo y quiero. Donde llevo, cuando finalice voy a llevar 39 años trabajando para mi querida ciudad. No hubo un no hubo buen averaje, pero un gran récord. Que Dios les bendiga a todos y sobre todo eso. Muchas cosas lindas. Commissioners. Mucha salud y mucha felicidad a todos y que coman bastante. <risa> eh, que tengan un feliz día de gracia y unión de sus familiares. Les deseo que tengan un buen día con toda su familia, que la pasen muy bonito, que le den gracias a Dios por tener salud y estar todos unidos. Gracias. Amén. Bueno, pues... Uh, Dadas las felicitaciones de todos los comisionados, uh, necesitamos. Uh, we need a, move, uh, a motion to adjourn. Move by Commissioner Barreto. Second. Second by Commissioner Yanio. All in favor say aye. 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 Meeting is being adjourned at uh, <coughs> 10 19 p.m. Thank you very much.